The day started like a typical day for the A's navigation team. We received a call from the 911 dispatch saying that there was a fire on a cruise ship that was inbound to Sector San Juan. Our response was immediate. We had three boats underway uh, on scene within about 10 minutes. You could see the, the billowing smoke coming out of the stacks and the paint starting to peel down the side of the vessel. The paint starts to melt, everything starts to melt. So that was one of the scariest things. The fire was potentially spreading throughout the ship and getting the passengers and crew safely ashore was critical. Out of the 16 life rafts, only about four of them inflated. One of the lifeboats was stuck about 10 feet above the water and no one could get to them. The fire was going from compartment to compartment and was getting closer to that life raft. We had a couple individuals that actually jumped in the water because the people in the lifeboats were starting to panic because they couldn't get away from the burning boat. We had to wait for the swells to come in to lift us up, grab the people off one at a time. Our 55-foot aids to navigation team vessel was able to maneuver close aboard in the, in the midst of the winds and the seas and rescue a lifeboat that was full of uh, women and children. The youngest child was about uh, three weeks old. The passengers were sliding down a slide that was 50 to 60 feet above the water's edge. The uh, side of the ship was already hot from the flames inside the engine room, and there was uh, issues of smoke, there was issues of seas. And miraculously, all 511 passengers have been safely brought ashore. I am very proud of the job I actually do in the United States Coast Guard, and especially being here in Sector San Juan, where I grew up. It gives me the opportunity to, to be there for people when they, when they need it the most. 